we're laughing at the two people rowing and the dog on the back thing. Rook! 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 Ahoy! We're the Boomer Shines, a family of four who have moved aboard a 56 foot motor yacht to do the great American loop and beyond. Meet Captain Mark. I'm Admiral Cinda, this is First Mate Bell and Bosun Rex, and we can't forget the ship kitties Angie and Jojo. Welcome aboard as we share our travels and triumphs, trials and tribulations, tips and tricks for life aboard Sea Shine. Welcome back Virtual Voyages to episode 29. In this episode, the crew of Sea Shine departs on a calm morning out of Norfolk, Virginia for a run to Solomons, Maryland. Even with a delayed departure and ample weather planning, Mother Nature still threw a twist into Seashine's day by kicking up a bit of squall and a small craft warning while Seashine was in the middle of the Chesapeake Bay. Admiral Cinder doesn't fare so well with the swells and succumbs to Poseidon's tummy tickle. Let's tune in to see if it's chum overboard or steady as she goes. <laughs> From Norfolk, Virginia. Um, it is 5.45 in the morning and our bow thruster is not fixed, but we're carrying on anyway. We're heading to Solomons, Maryland today and it's a long journey, so we need to get on the road. Hopefully it'll be a easy and smooth exit from the marina and an uneventful travel day and an easy entrance into our next marina where we will continue to figure out how to get our bow thruster fixed. Eventually, we got the parts. We just need to haul it out of the water and um, have the right tools and the right skill set to get the old prop off and the new prop on. Flybridge again on Sea Shine. We have Bell, the first mate, joining us. We are leaving Norfolk and we are headed to Solomons, Maryland. But before that, we are going past the Naval Shipyard. Look at those big, beautiful, protective ships. Isn't that amazing? Goodbye, Norfolk. You've been great. So we backed out, no problem, didn't need the bow thruster anyway. We have a reservation uh, for the 14th for what's called a short haul, where they will haul us out, keep us in the uh, slings, and hopefully repair the boat. You have an hour and a half to do what you need to, and that's called a short haul. But uh, we're doing that, and we're doing it at a marina that has a pool, and we might even go visit uh, Washington, D.C. while we're doing it. But for right now, there's the morning skyline of Norfolk, and those are military cruisers, destroyers, all sorts of stuff. Pretty amazing. Thank you to all those men and women protecting us. We're about to head into the Chesapeake Bay for the first time. It just got really windy. The water looks really big out there. Exciting. I mean, no more ICW. We're officially in. Right. 
He might be better up here. Well, I have a I prefer him up here. Well, let me see if I can get him to come up here. The wind was not supposed to do this. Three o'clock in the morning, it said this was gonna be calm today. It is not calm. You are an amazing captain. I need to take some seasick medicine before we do this again. <laughs> As do the cats, the poor cats. I think if we know there's a big body of water, we just give the cats. And me. And you, but oh. it makes you drowsy. Oh, I, I would have thanked the Lord to be drowsy. Every I was trying to close my eyes. And every time I close my eyes, I get like super nauseous. Oh, oh, the poor cats. We're gonna have to go rescue and revive the cats, but I, I can't do that right now. Hydrate and clean. Hydrate and clean. Oh. Saw some hot down there. You should have seen me trying to navigate inside. I mean, I was flopping all around. I don't see how you did. I could barely eat this. Getting up and down? Yeah. That's what I finally said. I'm going down and I'm staying down. Now this is pretty. Well, this is a following sea and wind. And the wind has died down. We had we had some we had some wind for like four hours. Okay, we're pulling into Solomon's. Guess what state we're in? Uh, we left Virginia. We're now in Maryland. Charming. Spring Cove Marina, Spring Cove Marina, Sea Shine on 7 1. Sea Shine, Spring Cove Marina. Good afternoon, Captain. I'm in your reservation. Mark. Yes. That was the most epic day. And not in a good way. How do that you. That was. You did, a, you did a very good docking. Captain. The wind was your bow thruster. It just blew you yep. right in. And our friends on Happy Days greeted us and helped us. <sighs> so, are you getting yourself cleaned up after the after that rough day at sea? Yeah. What What do you think about that? No comment. On my white ones. You've already had a bath and a brush, though, so you're just drying yourself off. Here we are, proof that we're safe and sound. There's sea shine on the way in. This is Solomon's, Maryland. Look how still the water is. It was just the, uh, going through the Chesapeake Bay, the wind shifted and that bay is huge. You can barely see the land on either side, but we're here now. There's a pool, a bar, no wind. I had a very easy docking even without the bow thruster. Um, so we are safe and sound, but it was a testimony to that boat's seaworthiness for sure. Back, right? Where do you want to be? Yeah. Oh, safety first. You don't trust Jim's driving. He's very smart. <laughs> I totally trust Jim. <laughs>
Are you loving it or hating it? If it was just me, I was crushing it. I was loving it. But the fact that my family was on there, I was a little worried. But I think I have Viking roots. Oh, I know you do. Having already dealt with seasick cats and kids, this is the first time I was seasick. Oh, I was seasick. I'm still a little green, not going to lie. Now, who's to say that if, you had, if I had put you at the helm... And, and oh, I had to go down and change. I mean, it's always worse down low. I was steering and constantly look at the horizon. I was dealing with the cats, the kids, we all, would, everything that was flying around the boat. It was switching from a head sea, which was like, we're back, we're back. That's what got me. And then when we switched. But then it was a following sea and the whole boat oh. would lean. <laughs> That's where, could you imagine no stabilizers? That was with stabilizers. We're in a 41 ton stabilized boat. It's too big for some scenarios, but in that scenario, I was grateful for our size and our weight and our, uh, we had stabilizers. What would it be like without stabilizers? She felt stout. Are you sure the stabilizers are still there? Yes. All I know is the pier. The meat in my hat. Solomon's is fantastic. And we could definitely save a lot of money by cooking more. But then you don't get the flavor of the town. And that's why we're here. So I should probably do more research on the best place to eat at all of our towns. I love it. I'm going to start thriving, not just surviving. I'm in it. Twin it. Did you hear that? We had our worst day ever, and I just said that. I love it. You're a beast. <laughs> Good morning from Solomon, Maryland. We made it to a new state, guys. <laughs> we barely made it. Um, and today, our mission uh, continues to be figure out how to get the bow thruster fixed. So, yeah, Solomon's Island. Um, we are going to try to see if there's anyone here that can hoist us in the next day or two. If not, we've got a reservation um, 40 miles north of here for next Monday. But since today's Monday, I don't want to wait till the next Monday to start work again. So we're going to see what we can figure out here or else we have to get on the water in the next like hour and a half to have our weather window to get to our next stop. We'll see. So that's what we need to lift our boat out of the water. And they're doing some maintenance on it today. So we're making progress. The travel lift, the hoist, what do you call that giant? Travel hoist lift. The travel hoist lift, lift here is being repaired and it's only a 50 ton lift. We're a 41 ton boat empty, right? Yeah. So they don't like pulling boats as big as our boat on that lift. So we found another local boat yard with a 75 ton lift. They have space tomorrow. Hopefully we'll be back on the loop on Wednesday. I'm so much happier when we have a plan and we have experts coming to our rescue. Hey, what are you about to do? Why are you wearing gloves, Dad? Because I'm about to pump the poop. Okay. Okay, you, you guys need to learn how to do it, Rex. Okay, no. This right here is the glamorous side of boating. Is it going? Yep. Oh, it's going. Is that a storm warning? Is it an air raid siren? Is it a storm warning? What is it? What you doing, Mark? Let's do it. No, it's not that windy, and we gotta learn how to do it. So now is our opportunity. And you've been dying to do this, and it'll be good for your soul. You got two hours till the wind starts moving. We got chicken tender in the water. Have fun, guys! Sure is a cute blue hole. Look at Sea Shine. She looks huge, doesn't she? Woo. OK, 
Okay, Sea Shine is over there. We have taken the chicken tender to a remote island here. That's Solomon's Island. Nice. Lux has found a bottle and a little concrete. Pretty cool. How was it, guys? All right, we are lifting up the tender and putting it back. We just had a little joy ride. Recess. P.E. Dad's gonna swim all the way across the pool. So this marina is especially handy because you can walk to a West Marine. It's very so, exciting. Yeah, I know. We picked up um, two new fenders that apparently we need to do all the locks. Um, and we might need to weather the storm tomorrow. But we got that and I've been trying to figure out how to get those shipped. So that's nice to have them. And there might have been a liquor store next door <laughs> <laughs> to re replenish the rosé. So, anyway, I'd say that was a success. Yep. And we don't have little appendages. We were so close that we left them on the boat with a walkie-talkie and a cell phone. Feels almost normal. It does. Uh-huh. Look how charming. There's a boat yard right there. Do it yourself, boat yard. Uh-huh. All the boats on the hard. And that's the travel hoist that we can't use because we're too big. And yeah, pretty cute. Stop. I'm, I'm pleased to be stuck here. Yep. I was pleased to be stuck in Norfolk. Temperature is perfect. I'm pleased to be stuck anywhere and not be moving and seasick. <laughs> What's for dinner? Pizza. Pop down pizza. It feels like home, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. With homemade lemonade. Homemade, homemade lemonade. Whoop, whoop. It's Monday. <laughs> My birthday was Saturday, what? but I'm finally getting a birthday cake that I ordered for birthday myself <laughs> from Papa John's. Not Papa John's. Boat life. Happy birthday to you. Ja, ja, ja. Mark has found his favorite thing here. Got all these boats. And the kiddos have found their favorite thing. Oh, this is an awesome old school playground. I want to just kind of explore the boat yard and look at all these cool boats. Okay, so we're going into the Calvert Marine Museum. loves the murals, which are incredible.
enthusiastic, sorry. <laughs> I could watch them all day. Let's get a pet on her. Oh, oh. oh my god. What are they? This is more spacious than I thought it'd be. Everybody says that. Five kids. Yeah. Yeah. Did they? Five kids. Did they ever get shore leave? Okay. You gotta go, you gotta go. Yep. It has that fresh sea breeze smell. today because A, we're getting our pull out tomorrow, but B, there's a small craft advisory because it's super windy. I mean, we're in a protected bay and harbor. Can you imagine what it's like on the Chesapeake today? Let's take that rainbow as a god wink that Seashine will have a successful haul out on the next episode as they try and get that pesky broken bow thruster prop removed and replaced. The kids get to see Seashine out of the water in all her glory for the first time as well. Stay tuned for episode 30 and keep the comments coming. Until then, shine on!